or one again. So they exploit that. They call it God. They say he has rules. And I think it's cruel. I think you can do it absent religion. It's time to claim the unity our outmoded social systems have broken apart and work together to create a sustainable global society where everyone is taken care of and everyone is truly free. Your personal beliefs, whatever they may be, are meaningless when it comes to the necessities of life. Every human being is born naked, needing warmth, food, water, shelter, everything else is auxiliary. Therefore, the most important issue at hand is the intelligent management of the Earth's resources. This can never be accomplished in a monetary system, for the pursuit of profit is the pursuit of self-interest, and therefore imbalance is inherent. Simultaneously, politicians are useless, for our true problems in life are technical, not political. Furthermore, ideologies that separate humanity, such as religion, need strong reflection in the community in regard to its value, purpose, and social relevancy. Hopefully, through time, religion will lose its materialism and basis in superstition and move into the useful field of philosophy. The fact is, society today is backwards, with politicians constantly talking about protection and security rather than creation, unity, and progress. The U.S. alone now spends about $500 billion annually on defense. That is enough to send every high school senior in America to a four-year college. In the 1940s, the Manhattan Project produced the first true weapon of mass destruction. This program employed 130,000 people at an extreme financial cost. Imagine what our life would be like today if that group of scientists instead of working on a way of killing people, worked on a way to create a self-sustaining, abundant world. Life today would be very, very different if that was their goal. Instead of weapons of mass destruction, it is time to unleash something much more powerful. Weapons of mass creation. Our true divinity is in our ability to create and armed with the understanding of the symbiotic connections of life, while being guided by the emergent nature of reality, there is nothing we cannot do or accomplish. Of course, we face strong barriers in the form of established power structures that refuse to change. At the heart of these structures is the monetary system. As explained earlier, the fractional reserve policy is a form of slavery through debt where it is literally impossible for society to be free. In turn, free market capitalism in the form of free trade uses debt to imprison the world and manipulate countries into subservience to a handful of large business and political powers. Apart from these obvious amoralities, the system itself is based on competition, which immediately destroys the possibility of large-scale collaborations for the common good, hence paralyzing any attempt at true global sustainability. These financial and corporate structures are now obsolete and they must be outgrown. Of course we cannot be naive enough to think that the business and financial elite are going to subscribe to this idea for they will lose power and control. Therefore peaceful yet highly strategic action must be taken. The most powerful course of action is simple. We have to alter our behavior to force the power structure to the will of the people. We must stop supporting the system. The only way the establishment will change is by our refusal to participate while continuously acknowledging its endless flaws and corruptions. 
they're not going to give up the monetary system because of our designs or what we recommend. The system has to fail and people have to lose confidence in their elected leaders. That will be a major turning point if the Venus Project is offered as a possible alternative. If not, I fear the consequences. The trends now indicate that our country is going bankrupt. The probability is our country will move toward a military dictatorship to prevent riots and complete social breakdown. Once the U.S. breaks down, all the other cultures will undergo similar things. As of now, the world financial system is on the brink of collapse due to its own shortcomings. The Comptroller of Currency stated in 2003 that the interest on the U.S. national debt will not be affordable in less than 10 years. This theoretically means total bankruptcy for the U.S. economy, and its implications for the world are immense. In turn, the fractional reserve-based monetary system is reaching its theoretical limits of expansion, and the banking failures you are seeing are just the beginning. This is why inflation is skyrocketing, all debt is at record levels, and the government and Fed are hemorrhaging new money to bail out the corrupt system. For the only way to keep the banks going is by making more money. The only way to make more money is to create more debt and inflation. It is simply a matter of time before the tables turn and there is no one willing to take new loans while defaults grow as people are unable to afford their current loans. Then the expansion of money will stop and contraction will begin on a scale never before seen, ending a century-long pyramid scheme. This has already begun. Therefore, we need to expose this financial failure for what it is, using this weakness to our advantage. Here are some suggestions. Expose the banking fraud. Citibank, JP Morgan Chase, and Bank of America are the most powerful controllers within the corrupt Federal Reserve System. It's time to boycott these institutions. If you have a bank account or a credit card with any of them, move your money to another bank. If you have a mortgage, refinance with another bank. If you own their stock, sell it. If you work for them, quit. This gesture will express contempt for the true powers behind the private banking cartel known as the Federal Reserve and create awareness about the fraud of the banking system itself. Two, turn off the TV news. Visit the emerging independent news agencies on the internet for your information. CNN, NBC, ABC, Fox, and all the others present all news pre-filtered to maintain the status quo. With four corporations owning all major media outlets, objective information is impossible. This is the true beauty of the internet, and the establishment has been losing control because of this free flow of information. We must protect the internet at all times, as it is truly our savior right now. Three. Don't ever allow yourself, your family, or anyone you know to ever join the military. This is an obsolete institution now used exclusively for maintaining an establishment that is no longer relevant. U.S. soldiers in Iraq work for U.S. corporations, not the people. Propaganda forces us to believe that war is natural and the military is an honorable institution. Well, if war is natural, why are there 18 suicides every single day by American veterans who have post-traumatic stress disorder? If our military men and women are so honored, why is it that 25% of the American homeless population are veterans? 4. Stop supporting the energy companies. If you live in a detached house, get off the grid. Investigate every means of making your home self-sustainable with clean energy. Solar, wind, and other renewable energies are now affordable consumer realities, and considering the never-ending rising cost of traditional energies, it will likely be a cheaper investment over time. If you drive, get the smallest car you can, and consider using one of the many conversion technologies that can enable your car to be a hybrid, electric, or run on anything other than establishment fuels. 5. Reject the political system. The illusion of democracy is an insult to our intelligence. In a monetary system, there is no such thing as a true democracy, and there never was. 
we have two political parties owned by the same set of corporate lobbyists. They are placed in their positions by the corporations, with popularity artificially projected by their media. In a system of inherent corruption, the change of personnel every couple of years has very little relevance. Instead of pretending that the political game has any true meaning, focus your energy on how to transcend this failed system. And six, join the movement. Go to the zeitgeistmovement.com and help us create the largest mass movement for social change the world has ever seen. We must mobilize and educate everyone about the inherent corruption of our current world system, along with the only true sustainable solution, declaring all the natural resources on the planet as common heritage to all people, while informing everyone as to the true state of technology and how we can all be free if the world works together rather than fights. The choice lies with you. You can continue to be a slave to the financial system and watch the continuous wars, depressions, and injustice across the globe while placating yourself with vain entertainment and materialistic garbage. Or you can focus your energy on true, meaningful, lasting, holistic change, which actually has the realistic ability to support and free all humans with no one left behind. But in the end, the most relevant change must occur first inside of you. The real revolution is the revolution of consciousness, and each one of us first needs to eliminate the divisionary materialistic noise we have been conditioned to think is true, while discovering, amplifying, and aligning with the signal coming from our true empirical oneness. It is up to you. What we are trying in all these discussions and talks here is to see if we cannot radically bring about a transformation of the mind. Not accept things as they are, but to understand it, to go into it, to examine it. Give your heart and your mind with everything that you have to find out, a way of living differently. But that depends on you and not somebody else. Because in this there is no teacher, no pupil. There is no leader. There is no guru. There is no master, no saviour. You yourself are the teacher and the pupil, you are the master, you are the guru, you are the leader. You are everything. And to understand is to transform what is.